بدا جلاله الملك عبد الله الثاني ابن الحسين حياته الدراسيه في الكليه العلميه الاسلاميه في عمان لا ينتقل بعدها ليكمل دراسته الابتدائيه في احدى اعرق المدارس الانجليزيه مدرسة سانت إدموند في ساري والتي تقع إلى الجنوب الشرقي من إنجلترا على بعد ساعتين عن العاصمة البريطانية لندن توني بول مساعد مدير مدرسة سانت إدموندز أيام دراسة جلالة الملك عبد الله فيها مستر توني جود مورنينج أند ثانك يو فور هافينج أس هير سو تيل أس أباوت ذا دايز وين هيز ماجستي كينج عبد الله كيم هير تو ستدي وات دو يو ريمبر أباوت هيز أرايفل هيز أرايفل واز فيري أوردنري إن سو فار إز هي جويند ويز أ نمبر أوف بويز ذات تيرم هي كيم إز أ بوردر which most of the children were in those days. And if you forgive me if I call you Abdullah the whole time, but that's as I remember you, uh, he settled in extremely well um, and soon got to make friends. And I think you've probably just been talking to one, Guy Farley, who was friendly with him. Um, and he got into the regime of the school very quickly, um, was very keen to get on and do things. He liked his sport. Uh, and uh, he was always a happy boy around the school. How did he get accustomed to the school life over here? Um, I think it was probably seeing what others were doing. He learned very quickly uh, and I'm not quite sure what he'd had in the way of teaching before but he soon settled into the classroom uh, and did his lessons. He worked hard um, and in his time here, he did manage to get one of those uh, star prizes, which you got for having <laughs> good marks through the, the time. Um, so yes, he got on very well. With it. Guy Fuller, uh, welcome. And um, we want to talk with you about uh, this great relationship between you and uh, His Majesty and Prince Faisal. His Majesty were uh, one year one year older than you, That's right. and you were with Prince Faisal. So since they were they were brothers, he used to be always together. Yes. Uh, being back to this room specifically, to this dining room, uh, what amazing memories do you remember? Well, the first thing is, being, being here today, is the room has not changed at all. And His Majesty will recognize Did that... Did it change years ago? No, 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 nothing okay. has changed. Mm -hmm. His Majesty will have eaten off this ta these tables, he will have sat on these benches, he will remember this door, and he will remember St. Edmund's, and he will remember the cups, and he will probably remember the food, because we were here for every single meal, and we would always have a master here or a prefect here, and all the boys would sit along here and then every Wednesday they would come around with a special treat we would be given peanut butter but there was a boy with a spoon and he would give you one little spoonful and put it on his plate and his plate it was extraordinary but I have the memories are very clear to me and I will say that um, His Majesty when he sees this room there are two things it's so much smaller when you're little this room was enormous today it seems, oh. mu seems much smaller but it's lovely that after all these years, it has not changed at all. What did you used to do, you and His Majesty and Prince Faisal, these days? Um, well, I remember one thing very clearly yeah. is that this school was all about friendships and about sports. These were the two most important. I don't remember work. I don't, almost don't remember doing it. But friendships were very important. And I remember very well, during break time, we used to go out to an area out here called the Dinky Bank. And I remember playing with His Majesty and with Prince Faisal, his brother, on this dinky bank. It was, it was a great big bank of earth, but we built fortresses and turrets, and you, everyone bought cars back, little, little small cars. 
and um, you know, tanks and, um, and, and military vehicles. And you would build your own camps and you would have your own soldiers. And we used to play for hours and hours and hours. And I remember it very, very fondly. And I remember playing on that bank with His Majesty. And I, I remember him having these little, ta little green tanks. <laughs> and I remember playing, and it would be His Majesty and his brother on one side, and then we would be on the other side. Everybody, every single break time, I remember. Forgot to ask you, what did you use to eat here? <laughs> very, very, very English food. So we would have things like, for breakfast, we had something called Marmite Slices. I'm sure His Majesty will remember these. I they, tasted it here. They were very dark brown, <laughs> and they were, yes. they were with egg and with Marmite dipped, it, dipped into the, to a fryer. But we loved them. We absolutely loved them. And then at lunchtime, we would have shepherd's pie, which is minced meat with potatoes that heated and cheese on top. And then our favorite pudding was treacle pudding. And they would bring out a pudding this big, covered in treacle. And um, it was extraordinary. On certain days of the week, we were allowed to have two sweets each. Uh -huh. So a boy would, would come to each table with a quality street tin. And you would pass this tin all the way around the table. And you were allowed to take two sweets. <laughs> and there was a boy who was in the same class as His Majesty called Jonathan Shallot. And he was discovered one night. All the sweets used to be kept out here <laughs> on top of a cupboard. And one night he came down in his dressing gown and he tried to reach them yeah. and the whole cupboard fell no. on top of him. Yes, I'm sure His Majesty will remember this story. You know, I tasted the mermaid. Yes. yes. So either you hate it or love it. You hate it or you love it. Yes, you this hate is, it or you love yes. it. I want to ask you about the scholarship board. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, you used to be punished. His Majesty, you, <laughs> Prince Faisal, and yes. right, all the names on the scholarship. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yes. And, the, and depending on how bad you had been was how many scholarship boards you had to write <laughs> and how many times. So we would sit in the room next door on a table like this, reading the scholarship boards, writing out A.F. Butler, oh Charterhouse, 1932, <laughs> and you had to write every single times? one out. Well, depending on how bad you had been, no. sometimes you'd, you'd write the whole board out three times and you had to just sit oh in there God. and do it. But I also remember His Majesty, we used to play chess in here. I remember His Majesty was very oh, keen, yes. very keen these at chess. Well, these are, the, <laughs> these are the two chess cups that were given yeah. to the school. And I remember next door, there used to be chess competitions. And I remember His Majesty playing chess very keenly. And this is from His uh, Royal Highness uh, Prince uh, Ghazi. Yes, and these were given uh, to the school. And this one uh, from His uh, Royal Highness Prince Talal. That's correct. And they were very serious chess players. So today we are uh, celebrating his uh, birthday and there is a special, uh, very nice gift. You would like to uh, send it to His Majesty on behalf of St. Edmund's School, which is? Yes, uh, I think we've got here, which um, if I can just bring out and show you, that is his old boy's tie, which I don't think he's ever received. Oh, yeah. This is given to all our old boys. Yes. Uh, and delighted that he'll be able to wear one on occasion. Yeah. Uh, and I think uh, Sarah Dashwood has produced a, uh, a little uh, memento of yes. all photographs yeah. of the school. His Majesty King Abdullah II, Ibn al Hussein, with best wishes from St. Edmund School. And that album does it's contain very, pictures very of the school, idea. which he will remember, I'm sure, a lot yeah. of the photos. Yeah, okay. And then these nice cufflinks. Those, yes. Uh, Adam Wallacher, the headmaster, yeah. uh, has had these cufflinks made with a school crest on them. And I hope that he'll be able to wear those at some stage. And then this is what? That is the history of the school. Oh, OK. And he does get a mention in there. OK, um, you mentioned his majesty. Two or three yeah. times okay. because of his time when he was at the school. Yeah. And these are a special uh, pictures. Those are the school yeah. photos. Yeah. 
These are the school photos, yeah. And he will have great fun to see if he can yeah. recognize where he is in that. He's right down here at this corner, I think. Mm -hmm. I did find him. You found him? Yes. Oh, yes. Can I you recognize him? Yeah. him? yeah. So that is his school photo at the time. Okay. In fact, there are two there. Which <coughs> time. And then? And these are, I think, mentions which he got in the school magazine. Oh, uh, yes. One, okay. uh, he was the proud winner of the three-legged race, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, was done on sports day. Um, and I think the other, possibly, is his recognition of a star prize.